Hello everybody, my name is Alan Papi Jones. I'm one of the senior reading trainers at Begood. This is going to be a video on IELTS reading where I'll be discussing very briefly how you're supposed to approach a reading passage, whether it be a general training passage or an academic passage. Usually people have a doubt whether they should start reading the passage or the questions first. I would strongly recommend everybody to start from the questions. And there are many reasons for that. First of all, if a person reads the whole passage or a major portion of the passage, that person may not be able to memorize all the points read. It's nearly impractical. The second reason is, we don't need every point from the passage. It's just answers for the questions we need here. That's the second reason why you should not read the passage. And there is one more reason. We don't have enough time for this purpose. We, don't, we won't be able to manage our time properly if we decide to read the passage and then go for the questions. So because of these reasons, I will not suggest anybody to read the passage. If you really want to start from the passage, you may instead survey the text. When I say survey, you may underline certain points highlighted over there. It could be some numbers, some names. You may go through them if you really want to start from the passage. Other than that, don't ever try to read the passage. All right. So after taking the survey of the text, you should go for the questions. And when you read the questions, make sure you read the questions very clearly and thoroughly. Because you need to keep in mind, no matter how good you are at English, and how simple the questions are, you will never ever be able to find the right answers without getting the proper idea of the question. And one more thing, do not read a lot of questions. I will not suggest anybody to read more than three questions. What I really recommend is reading one or two questions at a time. This is what I recommend. Now the third thing, once you have understood the questions, your task or your next step is to find out that specific area in the passage where you need to read and get your answers. So for finding or for locating that specific area, certain techniques can be used, which I believe everybody knows. I'm not going to explain them. You can use your common sense. You can use other techniques like skimming and scanning for that purpose. After finding the location, there is only one thing left, intensive reading. You must read that specific area intensively to get the perfect answer for the question. If you don't do that, if you, if you really get or try to find an answer just on the basis of the idea you got by using the techniques like skimming and scanning, the chances of getting a wrong answer are high. So please be careful and please be cautious while you do that. Always make sure you read that particular portion you have located thoroughly so that you can make sure the answer you are getting for a particular question is perfect. So these are the steps you need to keep in mind while approaching a passage. In this way, you can manage your time. You can effectively find the answers for the questions. I hope everybody liked this video. If you have, please share your comments here, share this video and do subscribe the channel. So thank you everybody and see you in the next video.